So Formula E is the first race series to do away with mechanical brakes on the rear axle. They currently use the electronic drive motor in regen mode for all the rear braking action. When the driver puts his foot on the brake pedal, this adjusts the power of the electromagnet. By doing this, they can vary the amount of regen capability the car has got. So if you push hard and create a big electronic field, this makes the motor work harder to have to slow down, i.e. could recuperate more energy. This is brilliant. It means a Formula E car can regenerate 40% of its power during a race. However, in my mind, it has one fatal flaw. With this being an electronic system, you are reliant on the electronic components doing their job. Now speak to anybody that's used the computer and they'll tell you freezing just happens. The problem is if this freezes, i.e. you lose your brakes. There's only a small amount of braking done on the front axle, as it is with most traditional cars anyway. Now when Nico Muller left the track at Portland, he physically had no rear brakes. His front brakes wouldn't be able to stop him. Now if you look at the crash that Sam Bird had, and as you listen to the tape, you do hear that there's actually a slight change in tone. Dancing around, but as it does every single lap, just... Very similar to the change in tone he had at the beginning of the year in Mexico when he lost complete drive. So let's assume you break the drive shaft, that small bit of carbon fibre from the wheel to the motor. If that breaks, you have no braking ability. I know the FIA have talked about an additional brake on the rear axle to help mitigate this problem. However, for my mind, the same problem still exists. If you break that drive shaft, you've lost the ability to brake. I really think in wheel braking is a far better way of doing it. Or you go back to a traditional manual setup where you have mechanical brakes on the hubs themselves. However, they are effectively inert and don't work until an absolute emergency arises or you have a broken drive shaft, i.e. no signal feedback from the motor, no interference with the magnetic field, then the hydraulic system comes into play. I think the brakes might just need looking at it again.